Got some chicken drumsticks. My least favorite part of the chicken. But hey, it's still chicken. And I still like it. 14 drumsticks in there for under 5 bucks. Yeah, that works for me. Get them open. All right. Okay, getting ready to season up some chicken legs for the grill. They've been marinating in just some cheap Italian dressing from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm putting all those goodies on it. Give it some flavor. Flavor town coming. Okay, I'm going to take these out so I can season them. Dress it back up. Get that skirt back up to a nasty little thing. Showing too much leg. <laughs> First I go in with the Creole. Now, for those of you who are salt sensitive, this is not the thing for you. No paprika. You know, some people put this on their chicken and things, and they say it's just for color because it gives that nice um, dark brownish reddish color like it has no flavor but it does mm -hmm. I just tasted some right now poultry seasoning this stuff is fine like filet I know I season it up because, look, some of it comes off on the grill anyway, but I want my stuff to have some taste, some flavor. I should mix it all up in one. Now, I don't do all this on the other side. I usually, I'll just flip them over. Put some more poultry seasoning. What am I doing? Yeah, I don't normally do this part till it goes on the grill. Think about this doggone video. Yeah, because I don't want all the spices to come off. I wait till it gets on the grill before... <laughs> Okay, it's been a minute since I've done some cooking videos, so bear with me. All right, then I put the seasoned side down on the grill, and I season the other side of it. You could just 
rub it all together and put it in a baggie, I guess, but I don't feel like doing all that. That's what it looks like. Now it's going on the grill. Starting to get a little charred on those top pieces. We'll go ahead and turn it out. Yeah, nice. Okay, there they are. I just open that a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. I want them to cook slow. Kind of a smoking action. I'm really digging that style. Okay. Here it is after 30 minutes. You can see that skin starting to dry out, crisp up, crack a little. Mm -hmm. That looks good. another 45 another 15 20 minutes before I flip it Ooh, looking good did a shrinkage on that skin I'm gonna take some of that leftover marinade chicken was soaking in and pour it over there. Now these are going to get flipped over. So don't let anybody be screaming about salmonella. I do it like this all the time. Never been sick yet. Why waste it? should have gotten a brush, huh? I wasn't thinking. Because I am wasting some of it. I'm going to leave them on this side for about 45 minutes and then I'll flip them one more time for about 15 minutes. Oh lordy, so good like this. Okay, I flipped them over. And I put them on this side, as you can tell, because there's not much heat coming from this anymore. So it's got a little char on it. You know, that's the way I like it. That's all intentional. See? Yeah, do you hear that crisp? Give me that piece right there. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the way I want it. Because like I said, there's heat, but it's not real strong. So I'm letting the other side crisp up. That way it's just crisping up your skin and it's not drying out your meat because you cooked it over here first. But you can play around with it and see what you like. This is how I do it. Okay, there it is. Done. What about 10 
There they are. I could almost eat every single one of these right now. <laughs> 